But I believe that by overwhelming majority, you and I in the long run, and if it be necessary, you and I will act together to protect, to defend by every means of our Ghosts in the machine is a phrase often used in philosophy and cognitive science discussions. It's basically the perfect metaphorical way to describe the idea that the mind, the ghost, exists independently of the body, which is the machine. That's what they say. Man need not be degraded to a machine by being denied to be a ghost in the machine. Gilbert Rye, he's one of the most famous people about this thought process. Rye also called the official doctrine of dualism the doctrine of the ghost in the machine. It treats human beings as if they consist of two parts, a mechanical body that is essentially a machine and a spiritual mind that has no physical existence. And so is like a ghost basically in the machine that's what he's basically thinking and i'm not going into too much detail on rise stuff because it's just a mind bender and he calls other theories on what is the ghost in the machine but this bit where uh, this person used the police reminded me uh, why and they did an album called the ghost in the machine and just look at some of the titles that appear on this album it's crazy Spirits in the material world, every little thing she does is magic, invisible sun, hungry for you, demolition man, too much information, rehumanize yourself, one world, not three, the Omega Man, secret journey and darkness. And this other, like that one world, not three, brings me something that I'll talk about later, but look at spirits in the material world. It's crazy, isn't it? As you just saw that little bit, are we ghosts in the machine? I've had this on my mind. It's been picking at it <laughs> for a very long time. And I'm just coming to the conclusion, could we be ghosts in the machine? So this is what this video is going to be about. It's mainly going to be me talking, but I'm going to have a little bit of spell etymology and things like that put in before I go to my thoughts. So let's start with the light converter. Let's type in ghosts in the machine and you get as you can see on the screen experiment in machina machina so that got me straight away because obviously the first part of it looks like expire expiration and things like everything that's got expire in it so let's look at what expire or expiration or anything else i can come up with means let's get let's get the information flowing so let's look at expire expire remember it's in the original video that i'm talking about but it was e-x-p-i-r so it's still the same basically expire expire so this was actually brought in etymology wise the 12th century that period that i've said is the greatest reset ever that not many people know you see in the community people talking about resets here, resets there, it's happening so many years. They don't talk about the greatest reset ever. The the five to 
700 year old period where everything changed in this realm and still people are fighting it to this day and it's all there uh, even they agree so it's a verb expire third person present expires past tense expired past participle expired grund or present participle expiring and it seems to be how funny how we're connected to th this document and the law <laughs> isn't it expire of a document authorization or agreement come to the end of the period of validity his driving license expired hmm right so guys we die I, I believe we are mainly dead already I want to get into all that stuff but listen when you die what does the priest give you huh he gives you his or the last rights of a document authorization and agreement come to the end of a period of validity his driving license expired his life expired thus will give him the last rights r-i-t-e but in law it is r-i-g-h-t same thing the last rights funny that isn't it so let's carry on similar to run out become invalid become void be no longer valid lapse of a period of time come to an end of a person dying the lady had expired bird her lord a son similar to die pass away to cease perish depart this life be no more technical exhale er uh, from the lungs the volume of expired er uh, to breathe out that's where it comes from exhale puff out blow out expel emit emit time origin x out spira expira meaning to breathe out expire expire come to expire and which is, is what we're talking about now expire expire crazy isn't it and this is what i want to just about to get into this video about the breath about the spirit <laughs> are we ghosts in the machine so this is just what this video is going to be about again it's just an opinion not to be taken as facts it's just me musing over a few things that's been picking away at my brain for a long time and again tied to expire is spirit spirit the non-physical part of a person which is a seat of emotions and the character the soul we seek a harmony between body and spirit the non-physical part of a person regarded as a true self and as capable of surviving physical death or separation life force animating principle vital spark breath of life the non-physical part of a person manifested as an apparition after the death a ghost a priest performed a rite what i've just been talking about exorcism and the wandering spirit was ousted again it's talking about manifestation i've been telling you about manifestation and what that comes from in my toroidal video <laughs> in this realm it seems to be all connecting similar to ghost phantom spectre apparition wraith shadow presence a supernatural being the holy spirit the prevailing or typical quality mood or attitude of a person group a period of time a person identified with the most prominent quality or with the role in the group of a movement he was a leading spirit in that conference a person's mood the attitude of intentions which with some undertakes or regards something the quality of courage energy or determination the real meaning or the intention behind something as opposed to strict verbal interpretation the rule had been broken in spirit if not in lesser british strong distilled alcoholic drink such as brandy whiskey gin or rum and we drink what the alcohol everyone saw that meme but it's also spirits <laughs> it's crazy isn't it when you just come we're coming to think about this in in a different way looking at it what we are a volatile liquid especially a fuel archaic a solution of uh, volatile components extracted from something typically by dis distillation or by solution in alcohol 
Again, in archaic, a highly refined substance. Spirit, a third person spirit. Again, spirited. Spirited away. Convey rapidly and secretly. And it comes from spira to breath. Spiritus, breathe, spirit. All bloody connected. We are spirits. Why, Paul? Why are we? Spirit. Because we bloody breathe. There we go, guys. <laughs> On with the video. So, this made me go, wow. Spells. This realm is just spells. That's why they call it spelling. Grammar, grimoire, etc. But when we're talking about ghosts and machines and all the films and that, what we've watched, TV, talk about a consciousness, a spirit, a mind, whatever you want to call it, and this is what we're trying to get into this video, is basically infiltrated the internet, computers, and second in charge of that, the ghost and the machine, that type of thing. Wow. So when we're talking about it's the ghost in the machine, machine is part of technology, right? You'd more advanced, the better the technology. These entities, these spirits needed basically connecting to the internet and so on and so on. They could take charge. We all agree this, a bit like AI. And this just made me go, wow. So let's just start on this a little bit now. So the word grimoire is a distortion of grammaria or grammar and originally designated a book written in Latin, but is quickly assumed basically the meaning of a book of magic. But what I found is grimmer, grimoire or grammar is actually from the word and here's about the word now and I've just mentioned it already. The word is technology. Wow. So this will blow your mind guys. <laughs> technology. 1610s, a discourse or treatise of an art or the arts from Latinized former Greek technologia. Systematic treatment of an art, craft, hmm, crafting magic also, and technique. Originally referred to grammar, grimoire, from techno, combining the form of technique, art, skill, craft in work. So you have grimoire, grammar, which is associated now with magic, and we're talking about ghosts in the machine. Is technology not a part of the machine, the form? It's just wow. So you can see how I'm going like, oh, we're ghosts in the machine. And we have technology here, which is connected to the grimoire, <laughs> a magical book, because everything is spells. Wow, so we've got art, skill, craft, method, system, and art, a system, a method of making or doing from pi, techna, craft, or weaving, or fabricating. Remember the norms? It's the norm, but it's pronounced norms. Fate, also weaving, fabricating our reality, our lives. Live, electric, live. So, from suffix, form, of root, text, to weave, also to fabricate. You can also fabricate to create something, but also a fabrication means embellishing and lying. All these different meanings for the same word. And for ending, logi. The meaning, the study of mechanical and industrial arts, spinning metalwork, etc, etc. So, th that's just the word technology and how it's connected to grimoire and grammar and I'm I'm going to do my own breakdown of technology now guys so I just wanted to look if I could say anything a little bit different or just do it myself I always like to give what they say and what I can find it's, it's only fair so a broken technology technology down into three like I normally do and I'll put up the screen as you can see so tech means to craft and weave so that's near enough the same it's interesting isn't it? it's like witchcraft weaving your fate seems we are tied null means to be unwilling or to pursue which is interesting and oji is to study or to appear like an apparition 
Hmm, it's interesting. So as you can see, technology in this bell etymology that I've just broken down means tech means to craft, to weave, null means to unwilling to pursue and to study to appear. So it's like it seems like the uh, people are unwilling to appear and use the craft to weave. It's just interesting and I just had to, like I said, I just had to put my little spin on it and add that to the video. So I wanted to dig a little bit deeper, like I do, and offer just an opinion on things. Now you're wondering what, what am I looking at? You're looking at a screen with like the face warping. It's like the technology is sucking our soul. I mean, we talk about how people are in the phones, etc. all the time and we're acting like zombies. So a lot of people have been talking about how technology is killing our minds, our health, our relationships, our productivity in daily life, and also our souls, sucking the life force out of you. And that got me to thinking how the ghost and the paranormal is tied together with technology, and obviously I've just did the spell etymology for that. We seem to be living in a realm where everything is feeding off each other, this energy for subs <laughs> substance and it's just like for instance you have trolls on youtube people will don't want you to be happy and successful so you will have bottom feeders out there making content on you and others basically degrading you and saying you this this and this you basically they're feeding off your energy and that's something i've never ever ever got my head around I'm just a person like yourselves in a room. We've all had different uh, backgrounds, been brought up differently. We're on different sides of the planet or this realm. If you say planet, people say it's not a planet. Again, it's just a spell, guys. And we seem to be attacking each other and making it personal constantly because people don't like you to be successful. Hence, if I deem someone to be insignificant, I won't waste my energy. You know the energy that supposedly never dies and it, it goes everywhere and it's precious. So if I deem someone, you know, why are you like that? I won't spend time. I don't, I want to be with people who make me smile, laugh and happy because there's not enough of it. We don't seem to enjoy life anymore. People are out there and this beast, this system, this energy sucking succubus, this AI, whatever you want to call it, that we are in, is sucking the goodness, the soul out of us. It's making people bottom feeders. And people should be physically ashamed, emotionally ashamed. How can you do, you know, why do things make personal attacking people? And again, this is not on anyone particular. This is just what I see. This is why I don't mix and I don't associate myself with anyone because I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of how everyone is attacking one another because they think differently or they're making more money or whatever it seems to be greed if something is in, in, you know insignificant to you you wouldn't waste your energy on it but you do you're feeding on this goodness of other people and other channels and in life you're sucking the goodness out of them and you should be ashamed of yourself but again, it falls on deaf ears because it's a con. This community is a con. It's gone of you feeling proud to your brother or sister uh, making brilliant content, trying to expand their minds. No, no, it's, oh, the this, the this. Oh, he scratched his nose 16 times and touched his glasses. Oh, he's wearing a T-shirt. You should be a fucking ashamed of yourself. Honestly, and that, you know what I mean? It's just, I just get so tired of it, and that's why I've walked away from it. I just can't, I'm not willing to be nice to people anymore who treat me like shit. And it, uh, this is what I've always done in life. I've saw the positive and everything, and I'm trying to make people happy. And you can't make people happy. You can't. People will complain at your intro, your outro. You've said this word, this word. You've made a, a really good th thought-provoking video, but one one comment in it, something you said, oh, that's it now. You know, we're not. You know, it's it's ridiculous, and we have to take a step back and ask ourselves why have we let ourselves get like this? We should be fighting the system, fighting them, but no, we're fighting each other, we're degrading each other, and we're picking apart people. We're taking the energy. If you are an honest to God fucking truther, whatever word that is, you should know this realm is spells, energy. This is what is you're seeing on the screen. 
and you're picking apart and you're taking away someone's energy to make yourself feel bigger because you are insignificant and shame on you anyone who does it I'm not pulling no punches anymore it's ridiculous uh, you know I will help anyone but this stupid place it just got so stupid lately you cannot do any content this is content we're, we're, we're trying to entertain ourselves trying to make ourselves better we're trying to think out the box trying to think different from what we've always been told and everything is draining our energy from the the the, the micro to the beast to one another it's shameful and that's my little rant because it is tied into this and when we're seeing people on the phones constantly and wondering that where's their energy going it's been drained we've always talked about the us being batteries to the matrix but it's not sometimes our physical uh, electric energy or impulses but also it could be spiritual our soul that could be the fuel that they are taking hence why all we're walking through arches to control people's minds like the media because it's spell casting and i got me to thinking what is the biggest thing that people are on generally and it's on the phones and it's app apps like a ruin it's like a sigil it's like cymatics because we're living in a medium yeah that type of medium <laughs> it's funny isn't it when we're living in the medium because when you see the, the cymatics hitting the medium it creates a sigil so we're living in a medium and we're hitting these ruins, these uh, apps. And one of the biggest ones at the minute is TikTok, which, if you remember, in Latin means ocean eyes. So showing you we're in the water, looking through. And it got me. Oh, what is this app? What is this app? What is that sigil? What? Where have I saw this before? And it got me to think. Yep, Paul, it is. I was the ruin. And when you look at it together you can see why I was thinking this. Yes, the TikTok is curved like a hook because it's <laughs> it's hooking you in, it's just drawing you in. But to me, those sim symbols are nigh, nigh on identical. It's just that one's curved because it's hooked you in. It's took your weight and it's bent. So what is it was? Obviously, the, you'll see straight away, it's the yew tree. Uh, symbol but it's tied to initiation death the death mysteries the timeless eternity and mortality <laughs> there's just so much on it guys it literally is it's tied to the idrisil the tree of life esoterically kundalini the spine it's, it's tied to the axis of spiritual becoming upper and lower worlds meeting in midgard the earth it's the ruin of mystery of life and death so it's tied to energy <laughs> it's just crazy it's like in, it's like it's encoding this reality and it's like tied to the chakras like i said the spine and it's the connection between worlds and they're hooking you in they're taking your energy it's, it gets billions of hits a month or a week it's great i think it's like just in, in the us alone it's like over 50 million and that's crazy so you can tell me why i'm intrigued about why you use that sim symbol because it's hooking you in it's taking your energy and look how many people's energy it's taking <laughs> it just gets you going wow and yes it's tied to some form of protection but re remember when you change the ruin or a symbol or a sigil or a cymatics you're changing the, the actual en essence of it so this is where i can't say well this is what i was means because it's just similar to it it's not 100 percent it i was is also linked to protection so but they're not trying to protect you are they they're trying to draw you away and some of this is actually in the uh, about I was, you know what I mean. So it's tied to, like I was saying to Kundalini, the energy flow in the human psyche, you know. So the, the they're called Kundalini. It's the I was, and it's the flow of energy from the root chakra. And where does a plant lay its roots? <laughs> but in the ground, the earth. 
and it's talking about how it's you know all the way up to the crown chakra bringing cosmic consciousness so you can just see how it's intriguing me when we're talking about a symbol of the iwas looking like tiktok and everything that goes with what i i i was is i mean the rune is sacred to odin and he'd want you to collect the souls of the dead for the people to easy travel to valhalla or the underworld and this uh, and this symbol is tied to it so that's just got me thinking yes it's, it's symbolizing transformation in the pro process of life and death and we're talking about the being ghosts in the machine and this is a symbol that's drawing that energy is this drawing that energy away from our physical bodies because some people believe we're, we're in a different realm it's why we dream and go places are we in, are we dreaming <laughs> i just don't know and i'm winging it as, as i go through life it's just it's just so crazy i mean i was is also tied to the two horses head in regard to you know the horse the horse's steed and that got me thinking where have we ha heard about two heads before I mean, it's even tied to opening doors of the underworld. The rune also highlights its linkage to the opening door of the underworld. So we're talking about where's that energy going to the underworld. And I've talked about are we in a chamber? Are someone feeding off that energy to go to another chamber? Like batteries. Spiritually, physically, mentally, whatever you want to call it. There is always someone feeding off something, and that's why I had a middle ramp because I'm just tired of people feeding off your energy. I just want to have a laugh, I want to just learn new shit. And when it's different to one's personal opinion, people get attacked for it. And I'll say it again, it is shame on shame on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? The morals of people in this community is just fucked up, and you know, I'm not apologizing anymore. The runes are also used to interact with our loved ones who are now in the underworld after death. But if it's reversed, it's not a good sign. <coughs> oh, me. It clearly gives us a warning of one receiving emotional issues in life, etc. So that's what I'm saying. They've slightly changed it from what the Iwas rune is. Why? What is it doing? Am I talking out my ass? Yes, probably. <laughs> because I'm winging it. I don't know none of this shit. And sometimes, you know, sometimes we can do more harm, like just looking and researching these things. But I'm intrigued. I want to know. And people have talked about, yes, we are siphoning energy for a long time. There's loads of people have talked about that. And these apps, sigils, are gateways of way of doing that. And that's what this symbol could be doing. They've changed it slightly. But it's, it talks about moving and connecting, transfer, transformation. And you have to just go, wow, yes, I can see where you were seeing it. And you look, you, you guys can Google the IWAS and look how many different meanings it is. There's not one set thing on it. People put their own spin on it. And it just blows you away because it's talking about things that we're talking about. Hence, it's connection to the underworld. It, it just blows me away. <laughs> and hopefully, guys, you can see in the excitement of just wanting to learn new shit each day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they call me the black sheep. You know they call me the black sheep. Hello and welcome to What The Flock TV. <laughs> I'm your host with the boosties, Paul. <laughs> so guys, I keep getting asked, how can we help the channel? Simple. Enjoy the content, like it and share it. That's it. <laughs> it's as simple as that like share and subscribe and if you want to go any more than that there is a donation and it's in the um in the description it's just buy me a coffee it's as simple as that guys all help is welcome and really do really appreciate it um i just thank you for everyone who's done that and watched the content because you know sometimes you're watching stuff that's not up your street but i do appreciate the support so today's video is something that's been on my mind and it's been on a lot of people's minds for, for a long time. Are we ghosts in the machine? Now you saw at the beginning what the definition of it is about mind and spirit. But when you see content in all 
t- TV programs, films, media, and you see about people dying and the spirit gets zapped into the internet to live on. And it just got me thinking, are we actually in machine and we are the ghosts? It just makes you think, doesn't it? And that's, that's all I do in my content. Do you know what I mean? People still to this day, I mean, the bottom feeders don't seem to be able to grasp what I do. Uh, some topic takes my fancy and I look on it and I'm just put the, the puzzles, the pieces together in my own unique way. I don't state it to be fact. I don't state it. You should, you know, <laughs> believe in anything I say. But still, there's people who want to feed and be negative. And like I said in the video, I just don't get them. Never will. And I'm always polite to everyone. And that's gone now. I'm just, I'm not even going to give people the time of day who, who don't respect making me. It's hard, this. It really is hard making content, showing yourself, exposing yourself to the beast. And all those fucking Fruit Loops, those snowflakes who want to, oh, he's wearing a hat, he's wearing his glasses, he's touching his glasses, touching his nose. I don't like looking at the camera, I don't like doing this. But because I've met some brilliant and lovely people who've changed my life, you have to put up with it. You know, and it's hard showing your face. So, you know what I mean, that's really a hard thing to do is to expose yourself to all the evil out there. And... These bottom feeders, these trolls, yeah, you guys, you're evil. It's as simple as that. There's no way of looking at it. You're not battling for God. You're not doing it for this. You're doing it for your ego, you, and your demon inside you. If you don't like someone, I don't like you. I, I don't go into your channels and spout negativity off. No. You just get blocked and move on. That's what you should do. Move on. But no, you're bottom feeding. You're sucking the life out of brilliant creators I'm well, <laughs> that's it they're brilliant because you know the people really do try and yes what you can do is I don't like the content Paul it's crappy you're talking bollard that is totally acceptable that's free speech as such but when you start getting to personal and you know that you know you're pure evil you're, you're negative you're stuck in the life and you should be ashamed of yourself you're not truther don't call yourself a truther i don't like using that word because what does it mean i've been showing you for so long that truth is personal so when any information affects you could be classed as truth i ain't one of them yet in the community and if any of the, the people who do support me who do troll it is a shame on you too guys the life is hard life is short why not have a, a smile on your face enjoy life because this realm seems to be feeding. Everything is feeding off each other. A codependency, sucking the life out of you, even without your will. Oh, I scratched my nose there. Come on, get the alert out. And it's it's just ridiculous that it's it, we we are coming to this. As as a people, we're supposed to be enlightened. No. We're supposed to be, and I include myself in this because I, I am not perfect, far from it. But I'm just a, a normal guy, whatever normal it is, doing content that I, I found intriguing. It's basically for me, it's not like an online diary that I, I, I expose myself to, to this realm. I didn't really want to show my face, but if you want to actually show people a different opinion, you have to st- sometimes stand up for that right. You know what, guys, it's okay to be different. It's okay to say this if everyone in the community is saying that, but you, something inside you is saying it's this. Stand up for it. That's what I'm doing. I full well know I'm going to get abuse from all the little fucking freaks out there. Show your face. Put your content out. No, because you won't. Because you're bottom feeders. And this is simple as that. And some people will, oh, Paul's moaning. I'm not moaning. <laughs> I'm stating my opinion because it's in regards to the video. That everything is feeding on the feature. Food is all dead. There's people who eat meat. It's dead. People, when you eat plants, it's dead. It's not living. Why do we not feed on anything living? Then thus, what I just said, everything seems to be feeding on each other. 
Is it cannibalism? <laughs> so, where, where do we go? Did we actually need food? Did we have an energy that we do not know? The ether, the the lying lines that I was talking about in recent videos. How how is it? Do we actually need food? Are we ghosts? Are we the spirits? Spirits definition is breath to breathe. So is everything that breathes a spirit in this realm? Where do we go when we are sleeping? Do you wake up in your real body or another plane? All these things are mind blowing because I just want to ask these things and see what the reaction is. It's not the case of I think it's right, I think it's wrong. I just love asking questions and I'll never stop. I'm that awkward one, you know. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I'm always, I always have been. Even when I'm in indoctrination school or in jobs or anything. If there's a question to be asked, I will ask it. And I've always um, st stood up for people as well. Even to my detriment. I remember one time when I was in secondary school, you know, secondary education, people the teachers were bullying younger students and i said sorry that is not wrong no one has to accept this everyone stand up and go and you get marked as a troublemaker like what we're supposed to be in the in the community you are exposing other people's information and when you look at anything again anything when you look at everything and see a different opinion you get ridiculed for it so nothing has ever changed. No, oh well, I, I don't like that content. <laughs> that is really bad. That that's just opinion. We, we do do it. I I see some of my old stuff and go, why, <laughs> why, Paul? Why did you do it? There's some stuff I'm proud of, but there are only pieces to the puzzle. It's not truth. It's not a fact. It's just showing you if you look at the information that we've gathered. Is a different opinion and this one is asking are we ghosts in the machine a long time ago i asked are we non-playing characters and we've got abuse for that as well <laughs> because i don't want to accept what i'm told and everyone will say yeah we should never accept what we're told but then as soon as you go against a truth to the to the people that's personal you get a triggering response and it's all and how many times have you done it guys you've, you've been friends for years with a person and as soon as you talk about one topic it activates a spell and the trigger response and you fell out with them people i've seen it a lot of a lot of times why would you agree on 99 percent of things that one percent is down tools that's it your friends no more it is is it like fight or flight reflex it's the spell it, it's the spell inside the grandma the grimoires the book of spells it's triggering you to that we're living in a world of spells we're living in the medium <laughs> and when you sit in the medium it's like a, we're living in the crystal baal you know and then you'll get people oh you said ball we're not a sphere it is a flat level plane in an enclosed system it's like you've never checked my content out, have you guys? <laughs> it really is that bad because it's triggering a response. I've talked about this. So we could we be living in like a crystal ball of magic? You know, because I've talked about the toroidal where we're living in the void, which is the medium, which is manifestation, tied to manifestation of the divine. So if we can surely do this that a lot of people have done, because we've done some freaky things. <laughs> um, you, sometimes you just can't put a label on it. We have to label things. That is this, that is this. Sometimes it's unlabelable. <laughs> and it's just freaky weird. But that's my point. Are we actually physically in the machine? As ghosts. The spirit. And when the, we see spirits, because people say that spirits are demons, they're not actually the dead because the dead have to go. Who said that? This is not me attacking anyone. This, what I'm saying is, 
who do who are we relying on as the judge the jury in all information because it says ghosts are demons the demons come from uh, genius and, and smart yeah but look at the word smart it means to hurt smart cities I've done all this etymology why why is that twin nature oh smart you're thinking smart clever but it means to hurt <laughs> we're living in a world of hurt even love hurts go figure <laughs> So this is why I'm asking, are we living in a realm designed? Are we here to experience pain in all forms? Who knows? Again, I know absolutely nothing. Don't pretend to. Don't act like you do. And appreciate all the answers people give. I'm just using my platform, which is my channel. Yes, mine. But I appreciate and I love to involve everyone in it. But times are just changing a lot of good good people who i don't agree with on everything but they're just trying to do the best feeling like they want to leave making content i do on a regular basis because it ain't just worth it and it's not me only you're giving up because all the trolls and i i get relatively left alone <laughs> compared to a lot of good people but i'm not here to turn on my computer today and read negativity and that's why I say to people, I don't, I don't, and I don't care if it hurt your feelings, because you can't think about that. People always talk about, oh, the truth, the truth hurts. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. It's how you deliver that truth. You go and talking to someone in the street who you relatively know, and you're trying to tell them. If you go over to them, head button, punch him, scream profanities cursing them are you gonna get a good reaction come on i'll wait no because you want to get your thing across you will treat them with respect and you will say it in a way that is not making people on edge so why do it online because you're a keyboard snowflake warrior that's my problem the truth does not hurt it's how the information is delivered everything is information and each information is a truth to you because the truth has you in it it's personal but it can also trap you in a rut again in the word in the spell it's it's it is as i've always said the truth is a weapon it's been weaponized and when you wear a weapon the truth spelling words swords all these double meanings surely people who know about this realm being spellings wouldn't want to curse anyone because you can have a good day i know all these things and we see a negative comment it does have an effect on you because you're like why are these people talking like this what have i done to them apart from make a video scratch my nose talked about how i've done this when i was a child he's evil if you have evil thoughts about me breaking news it's because you're fucking evil yes you cunto you're evil i'm not evil i'm not perfect but i ain't evil so if you have an all these negative evil thoughts about me being this this and this is good to anyone else on the content it's because you're a bottom feeder it's as simple as that so don't pretend to be i'm working for the lord why is it all these religious people seem to be so evil isn't it one of the things to show your thy neighbor being good to your thy neighbor no false names or anything like that oh no we'll ignore that we're we'll gonna ignore everything but i can be a bottom feed and i'm gonna troll you motherfucker that's not being good is it that's not being a truther oh well it's because you scratch your nose three times you've got a different t-shirt on or you're wearing a hat you're wearing your glasses and you touch your glasses in a certain way you're evil no you're a fucking loony it's simple as that you're bottom feeder and i'm sorry for anyone who, who, who who's watching this and like why has he gone on this because i'm just tired and i hate seeing people bullied i'm seeing a lot of my friends being bullied 
by bottom feeders. And he, he has to stop. And I want to tell him, shame on you. If you want to carry on doing that, carry on. But you're not going to end up in a good place. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You ain't doing the Lord, the God's word. God doesn't want you to hurt anyone else. <laughs> so why are you doing it? Because the ego, the demon, the evil in you is telling you. And it's as simple as that. Why is this? This is why it's all tied in. We are ghosts, we are spirits, and we are being attacked. Why is technology so hand in hand? Why is transhumanism, AI? <laughs> it seems to all be connected. I've talked about the motherboard, us being ghosts in a machine. I mean, look at technology to craft, to weave, but also unwilling to pursue. It's like, did we come to this realm to experience all this like a rite of passage? I absolutely know nothing and I don't pretend. I always say this and people say that there's no such thing as ghosts, it's demons. Well, look at me, constant in my videos talking about ley lines and are they the spirits? Again, the breath of giants or the Nephilim or the fallen. Just makes you think, doesn't it? And when we see spirits and ghosts, because I've saw ghosts, I've had conversations with ghosts, didn't seem evil to me, then what is it? Is that the masquerading being good? I, be I do believe I have a good judge of character and an intuition that says something is evil, something is good. What is your true, you know, nature behind you? Are you just pretending to be good? You know, that, that alarm bell inside you. And <laughs> when we're thinking of this, is could these people actually be on... You know, for instance, when we put on AI... I, I've never done it. I'm, I'm just in, in films and obviously research. When they're putting on these headsets and then they're going into the AI, the metaverse, whatever. But like Ready Player One. I'm thinking, well, is in that essence a part of them? And in that realm, is that where we are? <laughs> and somehow we've broke the code and are able to do much more. Is it like, you know, when you, you, you do so many, you do a level and you level up or you gain experience and you get points in games. Is this is what we're doing in here? And people on AI, is that the spirits that we've seen? Because so many things, there's the spirits, there's the shadow men, and you can do when you do feel evil you can do feel evil or is it just that ele electromagnetic frequency that they seem to hone in on but again like i was saying everything seems to feed off you so <laughs> from the micro dust mite up to lions and things in the jungle everything seems to be feeding off each other but was it always this case and that's what gets me. Are we, like I said, in this realm of L11 to experience it? Are we here on our free will? Again, like rites of passage, like young people, that like you have to go into this realm and experience life. <laughs> It'll be like, can I, can I go now? <laughs> because it's so well. And that's why we have to band. Do you know what I mean? And it's, so surreal living in this place to see the evil and negativity we do need both but one person evil is not an, I say, you know another person's love and good there's a fine line but I, I just, like I said I've just never got how someone can attack someone just for a different opinion or wearing something people really need to like step away if, it, if they get into that level of paranoia do you know what I mean it's like it's crazy town and people feed on it that's why all these doom and gloom channels have loads and loads of subscribers because the the bottom feeders go to it and they feed off that negativity and when people are just you know giving you an option like me i'm just giving you here look at this this is just what i'm thinking about this what do you guys think you, you get attacked and again i don't get attacked a lot per to a lot of people because i just keep to myself but it's a shame that I have to keep to myself to keep myself sane. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, this w I will never get it. I will always ask questions. I'll always stand up for people, no matter if I get attacked. Because there's one thing 
I can never stand these bullies. And nine times out of ten, a bully wouldn't say it to your face. They don't say it to my face. Do you know what I mean? It is extraordinary what this community has come to. I've been in this community for a long time. And I've been ostracised from day one. Because I think differently from everyone else. I never accept it. And this is just like this. Why is this question, are we ghosts in the machine, going to trigger some people? I don't know. But when you see films like The Matrix and they wake up and there's a real body and then there's an online version, what is going on? Are we the online version? Because <laughs> I'd hate to think we're the, with a physical body. So why do we go sleep at night to die, to re regen regenerate? So again, we, we need to rest to to power up this spirit, this force for, for the daily battle. God, what is just going on in this reality? And like I always said, we have rights. We have rights. We all have rights. And it's so weird that the rights are when someone is dead, a priest or a shaman will give you the last rites to send you on to the next realm. So that's the last time you have rights. It's so surreal, isn't it? I mean, just look at that word grammar from the grimoire and it came from techno arts and skills and crafts that blew me away and this is all i just i just get i get excited and i'm on a show of people but it's, it's so surreal i was talking uh to a good friend and i'm all gonna <laughs> throw him under the bus this time but i was talking to a friend and i was saying where do you where does your channel go from here where does my channel go from here and so sometimes i do like to Hoax people and interview them. Then you get people who come on to your comments and say, well, that person's a shill, that person's a shill. It's like, I'm not their best friend. I'm just, I want to hear what these people have to say. And sometimes it's just not worth the time and the effort. So I don't do that anymore. You know, it's people will call me shill gateways because I had no form of um, money on the channel. Oh, well, you can't be doing anything right if you're not charging people. It's like, I have a donation, that's it. You know what I mean? It's, you, you, you singly can't win. Oh, your intro's crap, your outro's crap. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do it? It's hard work. I get so little time. So, you know, boom, I do what I can. And these are the things we've got to ask. All these videos I've done taking to mind where are we in the ancients believe of uh, counter earth is that where our other body is and is that where we wake up well, in our dream it's so surreal it does feel like we're, we're playing a game again all the world is a stage and we're merely players everything from bacteria <laughs> on you to the, the human giants that we had in the past. So this is what this video was just about, asking the question, are we the ghosts in the machine? And it is so trippy thinking of that. And again, it's not defining saying it is a fact, but sometimes you, you don't feel real. And because we're living in a medium, the bridge between other realities is this why this realm can be so magical and why it's so prevalent to use spells here? Because it, we're in the crystal Baal together. I mean, look, just looking at it, you walk through a door, you forget why you're walking through there. <laughs> Come on, give us a break. Honestly, it's like you guys now, hand on heart, everyone has done that. And again, there's something else, you'll have a good day. You, you're really feeling good. Everything's gone your way. And you just got a smile on your face. You sit down to chill. You know what? I'm just going to go on social media. And you'll someone will troll you. Someone will say some negative. And it's like, wow, that's took me down. Again, it's like the system does not want you to be happy. Doesn't want you to be oscillating at a different frequency. Because obviously when you oscillate and you're happy, 
people feel it and I've talked about this so long if I'm coming into a room like this you're going to smile you're going to gravitate towards you you are because you're not going to you know if I walk into a room and you walk into a room and you're looking around you're scanning it and you're like I'm not going to talk over that miserable bastard can I look and oh, he's moaning about something again <laughs> oh no no I'm not going over there I don't want to hear about the dog again or the cat or how ill they are that person over there is laughing what are they saying then people are looking happy over there and you go it's like why they tried to stop you hugging it elevates you it lifts you higher and when you're in that happy mood there's only one you know it doesn't want this realm doesn't want you someone doesn't want you and that's why i had to tie in about the bottom feed is because they don't want you to be successful happy there's always someone who wants to drag you down and these are the people who are the wendy wokes who think they are on a mission from god like the blues brothers no god wouldn't want you to degrade call people get people to hurt themselves with negative comments it wouldn't you're evil accept it and <laughs> that is how life is unfortunately and this is why i was just asking what is it where are we again i've talked about the the electric lords and we are slaves are we batteries to the matrix i've done so many videos like this on my channel i've talked about the toroidal field how the toroidal field can help you manifest and control yourself in this reality and this negativity remember films like the golden child and he was eating the bud but they wanted him to let evil in it has to chip away it has to chip away to get in your toroidal field to get you ill to get you negative to feed on your energy but i've got a message for all them people out there i want to be like a bricklayer or a cement person for you in the sense of if you're having a bad day you can watch something different on my channel and hopefully the good vibes will help to cement and fill in them cracks <laughs> oh my god and that's not perverted anyone i want to fill in the crack <laughs> why do we oh my god there's only me you can say things like this i want to fill that in so no negativity or evil can get in and then give you a bad bad day because there's not enough people like myself or the channels out there who say listen we're winging it this is just a piece of the puzzle i'm i'm just putting together it's not factual it's not the truth i'm not here to take anyone down the uh, wrong alley i'm just showing you the information that i found and there's a lot of channels like that but you know these are the channels that are struggling because people just want doom and gloom and bullshit because when you get pulled down the bottom there's only certain types of things you can feed on you know what i mean so this is what i'm putting forward this week that could we be ghosts in the machine a lot of things are saying that we could be just think about it because when we see ghosts are they people in the machine or are they the machine the remnants of the machine it's just so surreal and trippy to think about something differently we're not playing the game that we've been put we've not the game the world is a stage and we are not on the stage we're saying no we're not playing on the stage we're not being extras and again like matrix you get these bots agent smiths which is s smithy the, the you know the iron among workers these are sent out to find you to assimilate you back into the machine why do we see people in phones zombies why is it so addictive like a, a succubus incubus or some sort of parasite it injects where you cannot feel it your energy be drained i mean we're on the the, the system now is it a case of you you're only okay if you're completely off the system off grid but then again you wouldn't have the benefit see it's a, it's a catch-22 you wouldn't have the benefit of meeting like-minded people you wouldn't see what information is out there but 
when you're out there, you're exposing yourself to Agent Smiths. So it's a catch when situation. You know what I mean? It's not the case of a TV is mind programming. It is. But there's also good stuff on it, like computers is a Ouija board, and you're using a mouse, a cursor, and you're cursing people, but it's also good. Again, like any tool, it's how you use it. It's your intent. The intent matters, and that is why this realm it seems to be so on you when you feel positive, because it doesn't want you infecting more people with positivity. That's what it, it seems like to me. How we eat, all that. It's like we're, we're designed to eat death. Death. Death is everywhere. You know what I mean? And why is it? <laughs> and that's just why I was asking all these questions. I, I, when when the other people on a, a different realm or the spirit realm or whether uh, the people in the other realm hitting up and putting on their visors and coming here and is that who we are seeing and interacting what is these spirits are these spirits demons does a demon mean it's evil are demons influencing through technology like when you go ghost hunting you're using technology why is a technology work and you use emf detectors electromagnetic frequencies <laughs> it's crazy isn't it and that just really what gets me about this is I just want to ask these questions like when you're sitting on your phone and people's energy has been drawn into it like TikTok ocean eyes because it's looking through the void the seas above the seas below and it's a hook and it's like that I was, I was ruined. That absolutely blew me away. And again, different sigils have different meanings when they change them. One of the oldest ones is a SWAT sticker. That got changed to to an evil feeling, but it's not evil. It's about like, the intent and how you alter it and then portray it on the masses. And that is what I'm trying to get at is when sound hits a medium, it creates cymatics, which is those patterns. Again, when we talk, we create those cymatics. We just can't see it, but you can feel the effect. You are beautiful. You matter. You matter to me. You matter to everyone watching here. Your opinion matters. That's cymatics and it's having a positive effect on you. People don't want you to feel positive. <laughs> and that is why this is such hard doing. When we know you're going to get constantly attacked. It has an effect. doesn't matter how positive you are, how big your force field is. I need you guys to have my back like I will have your back. When you stand alone, you, you're on your own, basically. You're, you're so alone, you're open, and there's only so much you can withstand. You can be the strongest person in the world. But keep chipping away them little cracks, and we're here to heal. We're, we're here to fill in them cracks. <laughs> be each other's mortar type of things. Oh, my God, I'm terrible, Paul. But that's what it is. So I would just wanted to know, are we ghosts in the machine? I mean, just look at the ghost in the machine. One of the words in ghost in the machine is gnostic. You know, hidden. And I like to look at words hidden in the spells. Because they give something different. I would never have known grammar came from techno, from technology. So the spells are coming. Is this realm spelling technology? from the elves and are we a different machine to this and that's why we can't interact to a certain degree why they want to change us and transhuman it's all about transitioning us from this to something else or is it a case that they just really want to feed off the energy like batteries in the matrix 
it, it just gets you thinking and that's really what I want to do I mean look at the old pictures you know really old photos of when they used to put ghosts in and that was called long exposure and some of them are real and some of them, a lot of them are fakes to play on people's mind people always wanted to talk to the dead relatives Ouija boards people said don't use Ouija boards because you're opening yourself up to evil the demons people are just intuitive we're all intuitive that's why you're on YouTube because you, you, you're out there and you're thinking this doesn't look this, this something doesn't feel right we have Mandela effect we have the cryptoids <laughs> I told you everything in this realm is like a magical realm and we are vessels we are tools what is our purpose what is this spirit the breath inside us kept in this vessel is it like I've always said in the videos is it to keep us tied to this realm and the only time we can leave this realm is when we so-called die, the last rites, or when we go to sleep and we die every night to wake up re reju rejuvenated, rejuvenated. So this is what all I want to ask in this, guys. What do you? What's your thoughts? Do you think we're ghosts in the machine? It's like actors and writers. You're writing under another name. You know, use a pseudonym or an anagram. But if you want to get someone else to write your story, they're called ghost writers. We have ghost walkers. What is going on? And I was just sitting there, like from the last video, thinking, sometimes I feel like we're not alive. How many people have talked about that? Some people have talked about how in 2012, everyone died and we became spirits. I know absolutely zero nothing. I'm winging it from theory to theory. I'm just putting little pieces together. And sometimes those little pieces can help people. That's my purpose, to help people who are having a shitty day to feel better about themselves by watching my content. And sometimes I will, uh, the content will be serious in the sense of it's not something to laugh about, but something to get your brain taxed. And think about it because you know we spend a long enough time and you know we just want to sometimes cut away and that's what I'm trying to do cut away from the community because it's just turning in into the cabal we don't need gatekeepers when we have people in the community doing it for them and that's why I'm just completely that's why you people find it hard to contact me plus I am busy you know what I mean I get minutes here and there this is the longest time it is when I do my thoughts to get it in one place that's why it takes so long to, to do it and I'm shattered constantly and it's hard when you're really isn't it hard when you're really really tired and some people say come in because in text it has no emotion so you don't know if people are trolling having a laugh or being serious it's just a, such a strange world and all's asking are we ghosts in the machine Thinking about all these films and TV programs and theories, like using AI, these are versions of them creating them into spirits, into the metaverse. Remember, remember the all that meta meaning to die and death. Everything seems to be honed in on on death, and that's just what I want to leave it, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. I know I've had a little rant in it, but. I'm at, when I see people picking on other people I have to give you know this is the only time I get to speak so sometimes it, it, they are little rants but you know it's you see me I, I get, I'm get i like you guys I'm no different I get angry and get sad and I get why are people like this and you'll never get an answer when people are bottom feeding you know don't waste your energy on them I know you can say well you're wasting your energy on it I'm, I'm trying to make a point to be connected to the video about us living in the machine and because we are spirits if we are we have that breath are they trying to take our breath our essence hence the spirit hence the masks that they were trying to take on and I did content on that showing you who that was too 
There's so many videos out there that I've done that loads of channels are just using the information. <laughs> And they get the plaudits, and I get, oh, why don't you do stuff like that, Paul? It fucking is my information. <laughs> but, you know, know your place, they say. And I'm just happy to be here when I can, making content. And you never know, eventually I might call it there and just hide behind the things. I'm thinking about doing that. It's just not worth it. I'm not getting any enjoyment out of it anymore. Do you know what I mean? And, and when you don't. When it stops feeling like a job, when it starts feeling like a job, you know you have to take time away. But I just love you guys so much. And some of you guys feel like me. And, it, you know, so who knows what the future holds for us. I'll just keep doing my content, whether it's me or just another channel under another name without me coming on it. Because... I do regret coming on here, exposing myself to the shit and the filth. Because people automatically, they, they get personal straight away. And it's like, I'm only making content, why do you have to get so personal? Because they're evil guys. Don't let evil get you down. It's not getting me down, but it's chipping away. You know what I mean? It's chipping away. And that's why I always say, so you guys, we need your energy to give us power. And when you're united, and you have a bigger hand that goes. That's when they start to listen. <laughs> so hopefully you've enjoyed this. And, and, and the main point of the video. Yes I've, I've, I've gone on a bit. Is to talk about how we go to the machine. Because everything seems to feed off each other. Death is more prevalent here. You know they want you to be buried in the ground. Rather than being cremated. What happens when you do get cremated. All these questions have to be asked. And they might do in future videos on whatever content. But today I'm just leaving you with this about spirits. Are we ghosts in the machine? Definition of spirit, was your breath, is everything that breathes a spirit. What is a spirit? What is the mind? Is your brain different to your mind and your consciousness? And these are things that I've asked in loads of videos. What's your thoughts, guys? Are we ghosts in the machine? <laughs> Are we just again unlucky to be in this realm? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you know, so I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. I'll try and get back to all the questions because it means a lot, this one, because it's just asking a question that a lot of us have asked. Are we ghosts in the machine? So take care, stay safe, always wear a smile. Don't let the bar stools grind us down. And also, if you remember, I want to put a little joke outro at the end of this, if I have time. <laughs> so if it's not there, it will be in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Stay safe. Are we ghosts in the machine? Get the fuck out of here!